Hi everybody, this is Marco D'Amico from Montreal Hockey Now, and today we're going to break down a little bit of what's making Philip Mishar such a sensation early on in the OHL, uh, after a very difficult second half of the season last year, uh, and I would say an okay camp. Uh, he's really come in and taken over the game in terms of speed and skill in the OHL and been a big part of why Kitchener has continued to have success so far this season. So let's break down exactly what's changed in his game so far. Having spoken to Philip Mishar prior to his first game with the Kitchener Rangers, he was excited to get started with his play, to get on there, not only to put up some points, but to play strong defensively. And that's exactly what he did from the beginning. He's using his speed, he's using his intellect, and he's getting in the middle of passing lanes. And that allows him to generate offense from the defense out as opposed to the other way around, like he did last year. And as we'll see throughout this video, it allows him to generate offense more consistently. It's certainly helped Meshar to head back to the OHL. He's playing with confidence and he's not hesitating with the puck, making crisp passes to his teammates or attacking open ice with the puck to generate more offense. That's a very different style of play that we saw last year where he stayed more to the perimeter and played on the outside. Now he's the one driving the play to the inside, as we can see on this play, taking the puck from the faceoff and shooting it directly to the net for the rebound and goal. That's what's allowed him to really kind of develop more offensively early on this season. He's come in and made an already dynamic power play even deadlier with his slick hands and his one-time ability from the left circle. He's helped a team that has been really strong at moving the puck, move it even more efficiently. And I think that's contributed to not only improving his confidence, but also showing off his style in a more complicit way that would transition better to a pro game as he learns to attack open ice with a little bit more regularity. Philip Meshar has always been very good with the puck on his stick, but what's helped him this year is his work away from the puck. He has been a puck hound, chasing the opponents all the way around the ice to regain possession and in so try to make quick plays to set up his teammates in tight. It's something that he shied away from a little bit last year, but has done with more regularity this year, which is one of the reasons why he's been such a major compliment to Carson Rakoff on the top line for the Kitchener Rangers. The two complement each other very well and find each other with ease on the ice. It's no surprise that the Kitchener Rangers are counting on Philip Meshar to help them with their transition game and quickly remove the puck from the defensive zone and move it up to the offensive zone. What we've seen this year as opposed to last year is the way that he is attacking open ice, the way he's going to the areas where players would normally get hit or shy away from, he's going in fearlessly this season and it's helping him contribute to the offense for Kitchener. And in doing so also improves his game in the process because as a setup man, Getting into open ice and attracting those defenders towards you will only help to free up your teammates, and that helps set up goals like the one we just saw. With 12 points in his first six games, Philip Meshar leads the OHL in points per game ratio. Uh, he's definitely one of the more dynamic players in the league so far this season, but what's going to make it different from last year is going to be if he can keep this pace up throughout the entirety of the season. We remember last year, unfortunately, he was not able to maintain this pace after leaving for the World Junior Championships. But unfortunately, due to fatigue and the many changes that occurred to the roster of the Kitchener Rangers while he was gone, he was never really able to find his footing up until the playoffs began. But after a lengthy summer of training and focusing on the smaller details of the game, it's clear that Philip Meshar has evolved as a player. And it will be interesting to see if he can maintain this pace throughout the entirety of the season. Because as it looks right now, He's looking primed to be one of the top players of the OHL.